Legend Summer Preview with the Dice Tower. In this series, we look at recently released and upcoming games for Summer 2014. And now, recorded live at Origins 2014, here is your host, Tom Vassell. Hey folks, we're here at Origins 2014, and with us today is Zev from Z-Man Games. Hey, Welcome to the show, sir. Now this is a game that looks, looks a little bit like Galactica or Galaxa or, yeah, or yeah, those Zaxxon, old... Galaga, Galaxia, yeah, all those 2D video scrolling shooters. So how does it work? Uh, it works uh, like this. Uh, we, we have outer space over here. We have some cards that represent different areas of space. You have uh, empty space. You have space with uh, cruisers in there, black holes, mines, energy power-ups, asteroids, and so on and so forth. Uh, you have your ships over here, uh, color-coded. You have your captain display over here that determines uh, how much energy you have. Uh, you have a little rotary cage that helps determine where you can uh, shoot. And uh, we have a mission card. So we start out with that, and we start out with some sensor cards, which will determine initiative and you know uh, who goes first, second, and so on and so forth. Goes up to five players. Uh, on your turn, uh, in the, this is the beginning state of the game where we're off the board over here. Uh, you can do two things on your turn, uh, or two types of turns, sorry. We can do what's called a battle turn, which is a move and fire phase, and you can do either fire or move in any order. Uh, so, for example, I can do, let's say, here, I'm yellow, so I'll do a move over here, and if my rotary cage was facing in the right direction, the, the, the cube, I can shoot at this guy, but this requires two energy, so I really can't destroy him. So let's assume I had one facing uh, forward, so I can shoot. Fire takes one energy, that's what that box represents. I do one damage, I destroy it, I cover it up, and now it's empty space for everybody. I'm very pleased simple. Pleased to kill stuff. And pleased to kill stuff, you also get a reward. Uh, that symbol there is what's called Bolonium, that's the currency of the game, which we use to buy various uh, uh, I'm sorry, upgrades. you Bolonium? Bolonium, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make of it what you will. All right. <laughs> Including a sandwich. Um, so, uh, so that's one turn. So that's a moving fire. If you wish, you can expend energy to do overchargers. Your first overcharge is one energy. That means you can do an extra move or you can do an extra fire action. And you can also do a second overcharge by extending two, by expending two more energy. You can do another move or fire. But you have to watch your energy. If you're ever down at zero, your ship is destroyed. It doesn't mean you're out of the game. It's your astral. And we can go into that a little later. But let's assume we just do a quick move and fire. I'm able to destroy. Uh, uh, the ship over here. What you have to do is then resolve threat. Threat is the amount of damage that you can take that will reduce your energy. Uh, you count up your threat by the number of these starbursts in all the eight uh, uh, quadrants around you. So obviously, so you don't I have want to fly here. in between enemy you, ships. You know, yeah, you want to try to stay away from anything with those symbols. So in this case, I have one, two threat over here. Uh, and I'll, I'll go into that. So normally, it would be two threat, one, two. But since we've shown an advanced state of the game, you can see we have a boss in the top row over there. Uh, and he has that larger starburst right over here. And that's an omni threat. That means everybody will get affected by that threat. Even if you're uh, all the way down even here. Even all the way down there. So technically, then I would have one, two, three threat that I would deal with, and I would mark that on my chart here. So what that means is on my next turn, I have to try to get rid of that threat. Every time I move, I reduce the threat. That's me dodging bullets. Okay. Um, and then hopefully I have a shield or something. But let's say I can't reduce the threat anymore. After I do my turn, uh, my move and fire action, if it's a battle turn, then I can, um, uh, I would take the damage equal to whatever threat I had left. So if I had two threat left, my energy would go down by two. And your threat doesn't reduce. And, oh, well, actually, I'm sorry. It does go down to zero. So two goes down here, but then you resolve new threats. So let's say if I was up over, let's say I only got to here, for example. Well, let's say I got here, then I would count one threat, two, three threat, plus the omni threat, and then my threat would grow. All right? So that's how you do the threats. Every turn, it uh, you get new threat, and it gets reduced to zero, and that's added to your, uh, uh, deducted from your energy. Uh, once everybody goes, so let's say uh, I did a turn there, and also your move, you can move diagonal. You just can't shoot diagonal uh, unless you have special uh, weapon upgrades. Uh, but you can move diagonal, you can move backwards, and so on and so forth. You want to avoid certain things. Like, for example, let's say you end up over here. So I took a turn, you took a turn. Uh, the turn is over. Now we do out of space. We're moving to show movement. We scroll the, the board. So what you do is you take this, you move it up here. Sorry. You move this down, and anybody that was over here, you actually get scroll pushed. So you basically move forward. 
Unfortunately, you landed in a black, a black hole. That was not oh, a good That's good? No, that's not good. You were destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> and then you would remove these cards and then replace them with uh, new cards. So you'd flip over uh, all new cards. You would get rid of this row over here, and then you just put all new cards, and then that's the next row. Obviously, with the boss there, you wouldn't do that. I just show. I just wanted to show the boss, right. which takes up a whole row. And as you can see, the boss uh, it takes up a, a whole row, and it does lots of damage. But you you can still destroy different parts of the boss, and that will stop him from doing certain, you know, get rid of threats over there. Now, I'm really curious. You mentioned this upgrade. I know that when I play these games on the computer, I need. 6,000 upgrades. You need, yes. So the other thing you can do on your turn, instead of the uh, the battle turn, you can do a power down turn. And what you do is you don't move, you can recharge two energy, you resolve whatever threat you have, so you do take some damage. Uh, you return uh, PvP markers. That's player versus player markers. You can shoot other players in this game. Yes. So I'm sorry. I mean, you, <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so let's say I was uh, during the turn or during turns, I was able to, you know, put some damage on you, you put some on me. So first if I power down, you would get that back. That's nothing. The reason you want to do this is because if any time you're destroyed, any player still on the board will gain glory, and that's how you you mark glory over there on that on the uh, score chart there. Um, and uh, everybody gets two glory, but you also get plus one glory for every cube you have. So if I were to destroy, if you were to get to destroy, if you were to get destroyed, I, I would get two glory plus one plus one. So I would get four glory for your destroying. So I helped along. I helped you along. <laughs> that path of, uh, of destruction there. Uh, so that's what the PvP cubes are. But again, if you're powered down, you can get rid of the PvP cubes on your thing. But then the other thing you can do is so after you return that, then you shop. And yes. this is where you get to buy all kinds of upgrades. We have flamethrowers, we have missiles, gamma bombs, lasers, um, uh, missiles. Uh, if you notice, there's a, uh, this is the higher thing. So you have like a laser oh, one over have, here. One, yep, two, and three. you can also upgrade them. So you have a laser one, you pay the cost, three bolonium for the laser. If later on in the turn, you can do laser two and even laser three. So some have up to three upgrades, not all of them do. But you can also buy uh, generators so you can have more energy. You've got engines so you can do more movement. So your, your basic, you know, upgrades for movement, firing, and different weapons that will do different damage or they'll have special abilities. By the way, also be careful. Notice the boss has some symbols here. That means that part is immune to that type of weapon. That that part's immune to that type yeah, of I weapon. Hate these bosses. I just, yeah, they're very tough. <laughs> the bosses come in. What you uh, you can have a set boss, or you can do a random boss. So basically, your space cards will be in the deck, and they're set up by numbers. So you see S1 over here, A1, F1. So you will have a set number of cards. Let's say 12 S1 cards, five A1s, whatever. Any way you want to set up. We have a couple of setups in the rule book, and in the uh, near the end or at the end, you will have a boss card. So it says boss over here on the bottom, and when you get to that part. It goes, oh, and we are going to fight, oh, Tundra Tundrageist. And it'll tell you, you know, you, you find all the Tundrageist parts and put them out on Tundra the board. Geist. Yeah, so very, very cool. I saw uh, all kinds of crazy creatures we have. Um, and how, uh, how many players can play this? It uh, goes up to five. And by the way, here's a boss. It says Tundrageist over here, so you know what parts. And they're numbered, so you know how to put them out here. Uh, so it goes to uh, five players. I believe there's a yeah, solo variant, so you can do one to five. There are also scenarios. And also, just to go over like some of the space part, we got mines over here that if you get scroll pushed onto them, that's what we call when you're uh, on the bottom row and you have to move forward because we move this. You would slam into that. You take two damage, but these are destroyed. There's an energy station. So you can get uh, um, uh, energy. There's also uh, power-up cards uh, we have where these are things that you can do and you can also get more power-up cards. And also when you shop, you can buy power-up cards. Uh, I think they're two bolonium for blind. And they do crazy stuff. So here's like research, gain two glory. Uh, so you just play that card, you gain two glory. And by the way, this is the glory symbol. I told you about the bolonium symbol uh, when you destroy something. Well, it's all if you accomplish certain other things like destroy parts here or navigate the alien space maze. Uh, for example, you get the, the crown is the amount of glory that you get.
Other ways to get glory is complete mission cards. So for every mission uh, that you have and you complete, you'll get a certain number of glory and then you'll get um, uh, another mission card. You can also do achievements. At the end of the turn, if you've accomplished uh, the achievement cards, you can gain that for glory as well. It sounds like the game plays very quickly though. You take a turn and then move on to the next person. The actual turn, yes. The game could take more, but it, I guess it all depends on how many cards you have here and that determines how many turns. But yeah, in terms of the thing, it's it's move, fire, count up your threat, resu you know, uh, resolve your threat, count up your threat. Next so when are we going to be able to get this game? Uh, we should have this uh, premiering at Gen Con. At Gen Con? Yes. All right, I look, look forward to it. Looks like it's just like the arcade game. Yeah, I, I hope it gives that feeling, absolutely. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you join us for the rest of our summer preview videos. We'd like to thank Gamma and Origins for making these videos possible. And we hope that all of you have fun gaming. See you next time.